Welcome back to our Yes Longevity podcast, where we give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Today, we have a special guest with us. We have Doug Z. Doug has been with us just a little over a year now, a week or so. And Doug was kind enough to come on board with us today and give us a little bit of insight on what his journey has been like at Yes Fitness and maybe what he's gained or what he has lost. So, Doug, thanks for coming on board with us today. You're welcome. We're going to sit here have a little conversation. And Doug's wife, Liz, has been with us, I don't know how many years. I should know that stuff, but I don't know, you know how many years she's been it's with us. Probably three or four. Three or four years. And not unusual that we have a wife coaching with us or training with us for a little while, and the husband isn't on board with us. And then all of a sudden, um, for whatever reason, the husband decides, hey, you know what, I'm going to check that out and see what's going on down there because my wife is – tightening up a little bit, getting a little stronger, and saying some good things about Yes Fitness. So what made you decide, where were you at in life that you decided to say, hey, you know what, let's give this a try? Well, I was um, running, exercising a couple days a week outside. Uh, That was pretty much the extent. And uh, my wife was coming two days a week uh, for an hour. Mm -hmm. And after, you know, four or five months, I started seeing a difference in her, um, you know, change, you know, her body muscle build and things like that. And I said, well, geez, if she can, she's only going two days a week and, and she's getting those results. And I said, I can do two, two days a week, two hours a week, you know, cause I, I just wasn't big on committing to three, four days a week right. being at the gym. And it just turned, it wasn't, wasn't exciting to me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it's exciting to anybody, but guys like me, they want to go to the gym three or four or five days a week. Uh, but, you know, when, when people decide to start an exercise program, their commitment is always based upon what the goals are. You are already an exerciser. You're yeah. out there. You're running, you know, probably running faster than I run, but you've always been a runner for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And you saw some benefit in strength training. So your goal was really to get the benefits of strength training. And in our age, the studies show, all you need to do is do strength training properly a couple times a week, and you're going to get results. You're going to get the results that you were looking for. Absolutely. And if somebody our age was really looking to, you know, put on a lot of muscle mass, get larger, you might have to come to the gym more often. Yeah. You don't have to come to the gym three or four times a week and do some strength training three or four times a week. But that goal of, you know, starting to see some changes in your body and not having to commit more than a couple times a week, you've been able to do that. So tell right. me about some of the things that you've been able to enjoy, some things that you've gained from coming to Yes Fitness. Well, I used to I always had a lot of soreness. Mm-hmm. I, was, I, I used to take a lot of Advil, a lot of leave, mm-hmm. you know, after golfing or before golfing or after running and things like that. Um, uh, so since I've come to the gym and I've gotten stronger, uh, you know, my muscles are, I guess, more used to it. I very seldom take any type of, uh, you know, aspirin or, you know, um, anti-inflammatories or anything like that. You know, so uh, my golf game is better. I just am more flexible. I turn better. I don't, you know, when I hit a good shot, it's definitely, it goes farther and I hit a lot more good shots. So, so when you when you came here, <clears throat> what were like what were your goals when you first came on board? Um, Do you remember? I wanted to uh, play better golf mm-hmm. and um, get stronger. Mm-hmm. So we've been able to do that with twice a week. Right. And we don't necessarily do any golf specific exercises. I don't have you do anything funky on some pads or anything like that. There's no golf specific exercises, but we've been able to improve your golf game and really the way you move and feel just with strength training twice a week. Yes. Yes. Some of that has to do with the most important thing in improving any sports performance is to get stronger. So we've improved your overall body strength. Mm -hmm. We've been able to improve your core strength. And we've been able to improve some of your mobility, your ability to move, and that has shown out on the golf course. Right. Yeah. Without an extra effort of trying to make that happen. No. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the the flexibility, the movement, the core. Um, I can just I can just tell uh, in in whatever I do that I'm just stronger when I pick something up. When I, you know, climb the stairs, I pick up my grandkids. You know, I bend down and pick them up, and it's you know I don't have to, you know. It's just no effort. Right. Well, it's got to be super nice not to have to take pain relievers. Yeah, it is. 
And that's not a whole lot of fun. And it's not really good for the body to constantly have to take that kind of stuff. To be able to get up in the morning and move and, and play and have some fun and not be in pain is always a good thing. Right. We don't like to ever say pain, no gain. Because that's just not true. Because you can get gains without a lot of pain. When you lift it, do you get a lot of soreness next day? Next day. Next day bit, a little but bit. But it's good soreness. It's mm -hmm. good soreness because you know that, you know, it's, uh, you know, your muscles are getting stronger. It's, mm -hmm. And it's, like you say, it's just when you move, you say, oh, yeah, that was a good workout yesterday. Mm -hmm. Nothing like where you can't get out of bed. When you started lifting, had you do, done a lot of lifting before you came here? Well, as a teenager. A teenager yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing in, lately in the past 20 years. 20 years. So injury was real important to you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to get injured, you know. And do you feel like you wanted to make sure you were doing things correctly? Right. This industry has changed a lot since 20 or 25 years ago when we were kids and we started lifting weights. Right. Yeah, when I was a kid, you, you'd go in the, you know, if you didn't spend three hours in the gym, you know, your friends would say that you're you know, lightweight or whatever. And half the time you just stood around and, you know, right. you know, you didn't really work out. You know, now you just, you know, when you, when you come here for an hour, you work out for an hour and you leave and you've, you know, uh, got your results, you know. So um, even now, if I went to the gym by my, on my own, you know, I would... We can get half the stuff that, that I get done now. Right. You know? Right. What's your favorite exercise? Well, I can tell you what's not my favorite <laughs> exercise. You know? uh, what's not your favorite exercise? <laughs> I do not like leg work. I do not like squats. I don't, I don't mind core. I don't mind upper body stuff. But uh, any, any type of squats or lunges are my least favorite exercise. <laughs> But I know that those are important. That's your your biggest body parts, and you know that's where whether it's golf or whatever, you know that's yeah. where the strength comes from. So I respect it and appreciate it, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I don't think most guys enjoy legs. No, I, I personally enjoy working my legs more than my upper body. Yeah, I don't know why that is, but I always have. And, and lunges have always been one of my favorite exercises. Not quite sure why, but mm -hmm. but they are. So have you noticed a difference in your running since you've done some lifting? Um, I haven't ran a whole lot mm -hmm. because of the weather, you know, uh, you know, but, but I, I think that, yeah, it's, uh, um, you know, I just, you know, it, I don't get as winded as fast. Mm -hmm. and it's just that, you know, I, I kind of, you know, can run, I run faster than I did before. You know, if I do take a couple weeks off, it doesn't take as long to get back up to, uh, you know, my old time, my old, you know, um, miles per minute, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's your body's just kind of prepared for it mm -hmm. now. I know there's a lot of runners out there. and I'm not going to say good or bad about running right here, right now, since I have a runner with me. But it very frustrates me all the time when I hear say, oh, yeah, you know, I run. Well, you, you need to lift some weights, too. No, no, I run. My legs are strong enough because I run. Or I, I cycle a lot. So my legs, my legs get enough strength training from cycling. It's just not true. Running, cycling, that type of activity is meant for your heart. It's to strengthen your heart. It's not meant to strengthen the actual muscles of your body. So not to say it's not good for you. It, it's important to do aerobic training for your heart. But it's also important to do strength training for a lot of reasons. Reasons like you just moved your son a couple weeks ago, right? Right. We moved him into a new house. Right. Yeah, it, you can just tell, you can just tell the difference when you carry things upstairs or you know whatever. You just say, "Wow, you know, I'm not that wasn't hard." Yeah, and you the know? next day you're not sore. Yeah, no, no, and no, you have to no, stop and no take breaks every ten minutes. Nope, all nope. that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. two different two different workouts: strength yeah. training and running. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that you know I enjoy running. I enjoy getting outside and running, um, and I enjoy the cardio part, you know, for, for my heart and things like that. But, um, you know, I don't think now, knowing what I know now, I don't think I would go back to doing one without the other. Right. So the other day, you, you took one of our metabolic training classes. You had yeah. never done that before. It's been tough in the Northeast. We have snow. It's been super cold. It's just not a whole lot of fun to run out there right now. I know I run outdoors. It's got to be at least 40 degrees when we run outdoors. Yes. So you took one of our metabolic classes. Now, how yeah. can you compare that to 
like what you're doing with your running? Um, it, you know, I guess for me when I run, it's just I run for like 30 minutes straight. Right, straight so, straight, straight. you know, the metabolic workout, you do take breaks and, you know, let your heart rate come down and, and things like that. Um, but, but certainly but the metabolic also works your whole body. When you run, you kind of work your legs and, and that's about it. So the, the metabolic does, you know, uh, although you're getting your heart rate up, you're using your arms and your chest and your core and your legs to kind of do that. We have never really delved into your nutrition too much over time. Right. You've made some changes on your own. Right. Just feeling, you know, I need, I'm doing this, all this kind of work. I would assume, so I'm going to make a few changes, things like that. So with the changes that you've made, I know a while back, I think we took a picture of you in your shirt, a, a different shirt or something. Do you remember that? Yeah. I, I've, I, I, this summer, I went to buying medium golf shirts instead of large because um, I could, you know, you if I needed a, I always needed a large to, to hide my little pot belly and, <laughs> and uh, you know, and things like that. And, and uh -huh. since I've, since I kind of built a little muscle in my shoulders and my arms, right. I put on a medium one and then, you know, I look better in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I switched to medium. I definitely, I didn't, when I came here, I didn't need to lose any weight. Right. I'm six foot two. I weighed about 183 pounds when I came. So now I'm six foot two. I still weigh 183 pounds, but I definitely went from a 36 waist and pants to a 34 waist and pants. So the weight just was distributed, I think, from you know my you know the tire spare tire and 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 waist to maybe some upper body and legs and things like that. So you, you've done what, <clears throat> what what normally happens when someone begins to do some serious resistance training, some serious training and they made some changes in their diet, you've lost fat, you've gained muscle, and you've tightened up. That's why we, we don't like people to go on the scale. If they're gonna do anything, make sure they're getting their body composition tested to make sure that we're increasing your muscle mass and losing fat, which is what's happened to you. And I think what's really nice about it is you came here, you worked out a couple times a week, and you've made some changes in your diet, and you can tell me about a few of those, because we haven't said, hey, you know what, you didn't come through my door trying to lose weight. You didn't come through my door trying right. to lose fat. But it's been able to happen with just some small changes. Right, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I pay attention to protein more. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I do, I'll, I'll have a protein shake in the afternoons and things like that instead of maybe potato chips or a candy mm -hmm. bar or something like that, um, uh, you know. Used to eat a donut or two every day. I, I don't eat donuts as much anymore. Mm -hmm. I still I still like beer and pizza and steak. Like, there you go. Like every guy <laughs> we all does. like that in moderation. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, but you know, but uh, you know, I eat a good dinner. And but um, I eat breakfast now. I didn't always used to eat breakfast, so yeah. I definitely eat whether it's oatmeal or toast or cereal. I definitely have breakfast to get the you know. Um, you know, metabolism going right. in the morning and things like that. And I try to eat every couple hours instead of just like eating and, and trying to stick to three meals a day. Now I just, I eat, you know, four or five times a day, smaller portions, but definitely um, more protein, less carbs. Right. right. Stuff that I enjoy though. Just so small changes. Are you going? Because it got stuck. I don't know when it got stuck. Give us a second here. It says we're stuck. So I don't know if we're live or not right now or not. It says we're live 57. So we're going to get somebody to check for us to see where we're at. They're going to let us know if we're still on the internet or not. I paid my bill. That's good. <laughs> so, but this does happen. Are we on, Michelle? All right, welcome back here. We have no idea what's going on. Um, we did get a little interference with our internet connection, so I'm not quite sure where we broke off, but where we were at, we were just summarizing a little bit that Doug had made some small changes in his, in his nutrition. He started to pay attention when he came on board. He wasn't necessarily trying to lose weight. He was, he's tall, he's thin already, but in, in his training, He's been able to lose fat and gain muscle, so he's smaller. He went down from a large to a medium in his golf shirt. He's eating every three or four hours a, a day now. He's always having breakfast. 
trying to stay away from, you know, some of the junk foods that he was having more often. Replaced some of his afternoon snacks with a protein drink. Still having and indulging sometimes in some, uh, I think it was pizza, wine, and steak. Steak, yeah. Pizza, no, not, not wine. Pizza, beer, and steak. Beer, yeah. Which pizza, we all enjoy that steak. stuff, but maybe not as often as we were having it before. And with those kind of changes, just some moderate changes, getting to exercise here twice a week, changing his diet, he's been able to make all those changes in his body composition. So we're going into year two. And are there anything that you like us to focus on? Any kind of changes that you're looking forward to? No, I'm just looking forward to maintaining mm -hmm. what I'm doing now and, and uh, you know, continue to, uh, to, to be healthy and, and uh, you know, just keep it going. You know, I'm, I guess I'm lucky as to I'm just, uh, you know, uh, I don't need to lose weight. I don't mm -hmm. need, I don't need to get, you know, bulk up or get bigger or anything like that. I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at, you know. Uh, I think what you're going to find this year, when you get out and golf this summer, I think you're going to find a big change. I think you're going to see some really different results. Certainly last year you came on board about this time of the year and you were doing your strength training and, and we make our biggest gains in the beginning sometimes because we have some neural development. But you've come through 10 phases of our program now. Mm -hmm. So it's not just 10 workouts, it's the 10 phases to get you where you want to be. And you've, we've done some heavier lifting yep. and, and you're much more comfortable and you're much more advanced in the exercises that we do. So I really think that this summer you're going to again see a big change in your golf game because of the, the intensity, not necessarily intensity, meaning like working real, real hard and getting out of breath, but the intensity of your exercise program with the increase in the volume of work that we get in mm -hmm. per workout, meaning sets, reps, and load, combine that all together, the total volume of your workout is more than it was in February of last year. And I think that you're going to see a bigger change in your golf game. You may not want that, but I think you're going to just hit the ball even further this year. And when you do hit it right, you're going to know that's even better. So it's going to be interesting to hear you tell me that or not this summer when you get to golf a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, it, it'll. I think it'll show as I mm -hmm. get consistently playing mm -hmm. two, three times a week. You know, I haven't really done that in six months. So, yeah, uh, it'll be interesting when you get out and get your routine going. Um, mm -hmm. the, the results and and uh, again, I hope to uh, be to get outside and run some more, but maybe even do a couple metabolic mm -hmm. classes to get out to, there. Just just to get out there. I mean, uh, you know, now uh, coming to the gym is is a stress reliever. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, you know, I, I don't want to miss it. I can't miss it. I, it's, you know, I'm committed to it. And after I leave, it's like I feel better than I had all day a lot of days. You know, so. With that, what do you like best about coming here? Is it the stress release? Is it the increase in strength? Is it the increase in golf? What, what, do, you, what, what do you like about coming here? It's close to home. <laughs> that is one number one reason why somebody goes someplace. Yeah, it's close to home. Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah, it's close easy. to home. But but I've you know I've made some friends here. Mm -hmm. There's people I come and work out with that I enjoy talking to and and things like that. Um, but it's it's just um, I guess it's a combination of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel good that I'm doing something mm -hmm. every week to stay healthy. And, and remain strong and, and um, you know, hopefully live longer. Yeah. Well, strength training, exercise, number one way to help you live longer, number one way. So if somebody was on the fence, Doug, about coming to Yes Fitness, checking us out, just seeing what it's like down here, not quite sure what we do down here because they might be intimidated by exercise, what, what would you tell them? I'd just say, you know, just give it a shot. You know, um, anything new is – it, no one likes change. You know, you go somewhere new, you don't know anybody. You're, you know, um, you know, you're like, oh, geez, everyone already is stronger than me. They've been there yeah. for years, yeah. and so I'm, I'm the new guy. Everyone's watching me, and it's I don't I don't think it's like that here. You know, I, I would just tell them that that uh, you know um, Chris is you know cares about everybody's individual workout, and uh, you know um, he'll do whatever he needs to do to make you comfortable with your workout and, and with Brendan and Jake and all the guys that work here. So, um, 
Well, I appreciate you taking some time this afternoon. We did cut into your workout a little bit. You got here early and, and, and got your, your ramp going. So um, I also appreciate your business. I, we don't take it lightly that you've put your health in our hands. We're very important people in people's lives and um, helping people get to where they want to be in life, whether it's playing better golf, losing some weight, or just being healthier and reducing some stress. So I really appreciate that, and I look forward to coaching you another year. Thanks for coming on board. Thanks. Look for us again next Tuesday at the same time for more insight on how to get fit, feel younger, live better. Next Tuesday, I'm going to review my January goals and let you know how I did with my own personal changes that I was trying to make in my life to um, do some things a little bit different. So I'm going to review that with you next week. So thanks for watching. Have a great night.